And today we have an upper body workout. So it's gonna be all strength. Every exercise will be 50 seconds on with 10 seconds rest. And remember to go at your own pace and let's just have some fun. All right, warm up time. Roar. All right guys, so nice and easy. Start with those crisscrosses with the arms. You wanna think about squeezing your shoulder blades together, relaxing your traps up here. We're opening up the chest while we get that back. Nice and warmed up. Squeeze that core, engage it as much as possible. And keep it going. Three, two, one, arm circles. Little small ones to start out with. So really think about activating those shoulders. Again, relaxing the traps. We don't need to like, stress out anything that we don't want to. And go ahead and bring it back. Nice job. Three, two, one, and big arm circles backwards. Really think about rolling those shoulder blades back. Keep it going. Might feel a few crinkle crackles. As long as there's no pain, you're good. And bring it forward. All the way, really big rotations. Three, two, one. Let's get those shoulders. So, come into a plank position, hands right under the shoulders. Press fingertips, palms to the ground. Bring those hips up to the ceiling, down dog. Bring it back into a plank. All the way, down dog, really press into it and bring it back. Gain some nice mobility for those shoulders. Keeping the core nice and strong. Oh yeah. Let's go a few more. Woo! Two more. Good, last one. And let's come on to the knees. We're gonna get those wrists warmed up too. So first start out with a few wrist circles. All the way around, oh yeah. And reverse that direction. A few crinkle crackles here. Three, two, one. Come into tabletop position, hands on the shoulders, knees under the hips. Move it forward just a little bit and bring it back, keeping the arms nice and straight. If this is too much pressure for you, you can always come up like this and pull, keeping again the arm nice and straight. Just switch off on those hands. Woo. Let's go a few more. Two more. Last one, and a few wrist circles. Then you're gonna have palms facing, or sorry, fingertips facing towards you. This one's a little bit awkward, not gonna lie. We're not gonna pulse it out, we're just gonna lean back. Again, same thing if you want to, you can just stand and do this instead. It's totally okay. Getting those forearms nice and stretched out. You can add a little movement, swivel side to side. Three. Two, one, and go ahead, rotate those shoulder blades back. We're thinking about squeezing that back, rounding those shoulders, woo. And let's bring it forward. This one's always really awkward. It's so awkward. Three, two, one. All right, let's come into a tabletop position again. And go ahead, bring your feet, or knees off the ground. And from here, you're going to bring your right leg over, Right arm over and bring it back. Then switch. Then working on those shoulders. Keep them nice and sturdy. Working on movement here. Just getting the body nice and warm. I love movement flow. Me. Let's go a few more. If this is too much for you, you can always just lift, lift side to side. Still warming up that body. Woo! Let's go a few more. Two more. Last one. And go ahead, walk it back. Woo! Slowly come up one vertebrae at a time. Yeah, with all the shoulders. All right, go ahead, grab one weight. We're still warming up here. All right, so nice and easy bicep curls. Now, if you have two smaller weights, two lighter weights, you can use those. Then this is just a warm up set. So, you just want to use one dumbbell, getting those biceps nice and warm. Let's go three more. Last two. One more. All right, go ahead, bring overhead, same thing. With one weight, this time we're doing triceps. A little bit of skull crushing. Or sorry, triceps extensions. Just one weight, warming up those muscles. Let's go three more. 
Try to keep those elbows in and back. All right, let's do some halos. So bring it around the head and back. I like to reverse the direction, change it up a little bit. Whee, whoo. Keep it going. Oh, today is going to be fun. Now I'm using 10 pounds um, for my dumbbells. I can do a little bit more, but I don't have any more weights at home with me. So this is what I am working with. Remember to push yourself. You could always use heavier weights and then finish out with lighter weights if you need to drop that weight down. All right, one more, guys. Nice and easy. Let's start with those jumping jacks, or jump list jacks, just to get a little bit extra movement in, a little extra rotation for those shoulders. Oh my God. You can go full blown jumping jacks if you're feeling it. And bring it to the front to get the front of those shoulders. Three, two, one, and let's get started. All right, guys, 10 seconds, not many curls. Grab your weight safely, a nice flat back. All right, roll shoulder blades back and down. We're gonna go a curl, turn down, and then come down slowly. So, again, curl, turn palms down, slowly come down. You wanna think about keeping your elbows in. We're not out like this. That's a lot of force in the elbows that we don't need. So, curl, turn, slow. Got a talkative bird out there. <laughs> Cicadas, it's really nice. We're in nature, but we're in a garage. Amazing, curl, turns, your biceps should really start to feel this. Remember not to swing the body, we wanna keep our core nice and strong, and we're not going like this, we're not bringing them up like this. Again, elbows are back, curl, turn, and slowly come down. Ooh, yeah. Hopefully your biceps aren't too bad because we're going to wide hammer curls. So we are gonna have palms facing out, and we're gonna go for wide again hammer curls. So I like to stagger my feet just because I find it's more comfortable, but you can totally do whatever you want. You can always do one at a time if things are getting super rough for you, especially after those Zotman curls. Exhale up, inhale down. And we wanna relax the traps, so make sure you're not activating up here, you're not like, ugh. We don't need to tighten anything that's probably already tight especially if you have like a desk job, more likely you're gonna have some tight traps. So, get that form, keep it going. Curl, ooh, biceps are really feeling it now. <laughs> After this, we're gonna still work biceps just a little bit more, but we're also really gonna focus on those forearms. All right, woo, shaky, shaky, reverse curls. Palms are going to be facing towards each other. It's going to be the same motion as regular curls, except palms are facing down. So bring it up. Forearms are going to be like, they're going to feel it. <laughs> Again, if you need to, you can always do one at a time. Little dinosaur hands. Rawr! There was one time I was on a plane and there was a crying child. And I turned to the girl next to me and I was like, it's like a dinosaur. And then she's like, it's really not. And I'm like, ooh, <laughs> okay, glad I'm getting off this plane now. <laughs> glad I didn't talk to you the whole time. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, so that happened. Those moments are always funny because like in the moment you're like, wow. And then after it, you're like, that was actually really kind of funny. <laughs> oh, keep it going. All right, don't keep it going. Front raise to T arms. So I'm gonna put down for a second. So it's gonna be up, side, back, and down. Whoo, this is gonna be fun. <sighs> okay, so up, side, back, and down. Ooh, shoulders, baby. So up here, working front deltoid, getting the side, back to front, and down. It's a lot of time under tension. Your forearms are still probably going to be burning. Um, again, relax your traps. And just try your hardest if you need to drop the weight, especially for this one, I highly recommend it. And really think about squeezing the shoulder blades together at the top so we hit those rear deltoids, so the backs of the shoulder too. 
squeezing the shoulder blades together, making sure we're not hyper extending the spine like this, keeping the core nice and strong. Up, back, down, and around. Oh, forearms. <laughs> up, side, back, and down. Oh my goodness. All right, next up, we got side raises. Oh, they feel it. They feel it. So we're just gonna go up here, slight bend in the elbows, bring it out to the side. Try to keep it so you roll your shoulder blades back and down, and then you come up, okay? That's really gonna help you activate those lateral delts. Keep it going. Now, if you feel a pinch or anything, you might have shoulder impingement. So that means you might have to bring forward just a little bit more. See if this helps. If not, you might wanna to switch to just front raises and step, okay? <laughs> so fun. <laughs> After this, we're going to continue to work shoulders. Keep it going, guys. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool, it, guy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Push presses are next. So it's going to be like a shoulder press. I'm going to have my um, palms facing towards each other in this one just for funsies. Pick it up safely. So instead of just pressing up, you're going to add a little bump. So use your hips a little bit, sink down, bend the knees slightly, pop, press to the heels. Sink down, press. You can do regular shoulder presses if you want to, but honestly, it's a little different, right? A little bit, a little fun. You might have seen this like in CrossFit or something, or just regular workout. Keep that core strong. Ooh. Keep it going. guys core strong it's really easy in overhead motions to um um i can't think of it so just so, 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 so fly guy anyway um it's really easy to hyperextend the spine but make sure we don't do that so next up is tricep push-ups come on down to the ground elbows are in right by the sides shaking danger zone come down press it up neck is neutral Come down as one unit, come up as one unit. Come down to the knees if you need to. And a few things on this, it's not here. Okay, so make sure you have a straight body line here. Not sticking your butt back like this. Bring it down, elbows right by the sides, and press it straight up. If you need to, if this is still not working for you, where you're on your knees, what I want you to do is elevate your upper body on a stable surface, like a table. Again, stable. So make sure it's not moving, or a sofa, um, and that will help you. You can also separate your feet wider, which will give you more stability. But if you're using a couch, I use the sides rather than on the cushions, because after a while that can really hurt your wrists. Icky. So come to plank position, down dog just like the warm up, drive your right knee in, bring it up, three-legged dog, same leg. So bring it back into a plank, down dog, drive your knee in, bring it up, back into a plank, down dog, leg up, drive your knee in, whoops, I did an extra three-legged dog, that's okay. So press, drive your knee in, bring it up, Woo. make sure you're staying on the same leg. If you didn't, no big deal, we're going to alternate them next time if you need to. Shoulders should really start to feel this. Back, drive it in. Up and back. Back. Woo! All right. Roll the shoulders if you need to. Those triceps, my triceps definitely feel it after the tricep push ups. So we're going to do the same thing, other side this time. All right. Upper body, baby. Bring it back, drive it in. Up and back into a plank. Back, in, up, and plank. Back. Woo! Nice job, guys. Back, in, up, and plank. We're over halfway. 
triceps are burning. Yes, I love it. I love it. Another thing, when you come back to a plank, make sure you're not hyperextending the spine like this. Keep your back nice and flat. I don't know where I am in my movement. <laughs> All right. Next up, static lunge, single arm rows. Grab one weight, have your right leg forward, grab it in the left hand, back is flat, neck is neutral. Row back towards the hips. If you have heavier weight, I highly recommend using it. Squeeze as you bring it back, and you should feel it right here. Right here, right here, in that lap. Again, neck is neutral, don't look at your tummy, don't look at your shoes. <laughs> look a little bit ahead of you. Nice flat back, squeeze. Bring it back towards the hips, elbows in right by the side, just like in the tricep push-ups. You want chafing danger zone. Keep that, guys. Squeeze it back, 10 seconds. Yeah. You'll start to feel it in that right leg. You will. I'm not sorry, but you're welcome. All right, other side. I always have to switch the camera. Otherwise, everything's a hassle now. I don't after 10 minutes. All right, so bring it up, throw it back. Keep it going. All the way, all the way back. Rolling. You guys are doing great. We're getting those back muscles. We want to make sure you work back twice as more. Twice as many times as chest. Just because, especially this day and age, we're on our computers, we're on our phones, we're in that forward position where our shoulders are rounded forward, we're stressed, all that jazz, it adds up. So remember, with good posture comes good health. So we want to make sure we bring our back back, our shoulders back, all that jazz to get good posture. All right. Next up, we have serving biceps. So I'm gonna serve you guys up something sweet. Okay, so elbows back, arms are at 90, press out, bring it back, that's it. It's a lot of time under tension for those biceps. You can do one at a time if you need to. Just try to keep your arms at 90 as much as possible. Oh yeah. <laughs> I call this the Donna shuffle when I just keep moving. I had a client named Donna and she would do the same thing. I'm like, I get ya. And I told her, I'm like, I'm gonna name this the Donna shuffle from now on. Whew. Woo! Keep going, guys. 10 seconds. A lot, of, a lot of people don't know this, but I am a certified personal trainer. I have been for over four years now. I teach boot camps in person as well. So sometimes I bring this stuff into my boot camps, or vice versa. How exciting. All right, Halo is next. Now, I highly recommend grabbing a heavier weight because we did this in the warm up. But again, I don't have this set right now. There's a 30 over there. Keep going. <laughs> I want to get a good workout in. Uh, my dad left these when he moved. Woo. Wow, they are dusty. Never again. <laughs> what was I thinking? Keep it going, guys. All the way around. Whew. Oh, yeah. Shoulders, baby. You should really feel this. In those shoulders. I definitely never want to use this again. Unless I clean it. <laughs> guys. Oh, this feels so gross. <laughs> All right, next up, narrow shoulder press or regular. Yeah. Oh. Okay, grab your weights. So just like the push press, start with a narrow press, turn out, press. You can always do one, 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 and one. That's totally okay. Oh. Into this workout. <laughs> you 
your contacts. Oof. Getting super shiny now. Oh my goodness. After those halos, these shoulder presses oh, are forever. Forever. Alright, half curl to curl. So you guys are going to be doing a half curl and then a full curl. Again, just activating those biceps in different ways. Half curl and curl. Making things real interesting. And curl. Oh yeah. Half curl and curl. Keep it up, guys. Curl. All the way, baby. Oof. After this, we have a tricep movement. Now, triceps are two thirds of your arms, like up here, upper upper arm. Um, so you want to make sure you work them. Super super important, especially if you want nice shapely, shapely arms. All right, overhead triceps extension. Oh, baby. Curl here. Okay. Grab the weight. Grab the weight safely. All right. So I'm going to put both weights together. Elbows in. Squeezing the core. Tucking the pelvis. Making sure I'm not hyperextending the spine. So some people are like, what are, what's tucking the pelvis? So instead of here, you literally tuck your pelvis in to create a more neutral spine. And that's going to protect your lower back. If it's too much to use two weights, use one. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure your traps are relaxed. Not up here, not shrugged. But another body weight movement after this. I love those. Uh, keep it up. Oh, don't keep it up. Don't keep it up. Stop. Okay, into where we extended plank. So we're going to walk into an inchworm, but we're going to walk even further than just a plank. So walk, so use the plank, and then walk it even further, and walk it back. Oh yeah. Walk all the way, then walk with a little bit more, keeping the core strong, and walk it back. If that's too much, just stick with an inchworm. Just walk it forward. See, this is one reason why we've um, warmed up the wrists in the warm-up. Because when we're in these plank positions and we're walking and stuff like that, we really, we put a lot on our wrists. So, warming them up is super important. Not just a little important. Whew. Shoulders. This is good. Oh, no kidding. Okay, goodbye. Alright guys, next up we have wide prone row. So again, back, working back is super important. We are going to have palms facing down, back is flat, bring it out wide. So squeeze the shoulder blades together, making sure I'm not revealing anything new with this sport bra. <laughs> I'm just trying to bring it over here, <laughs> choose me, and row. So try not to crank your head up here or look down at your tummy, nice and neutral. Squeeze shoulder blades together. Bring your back flat. Make sure you're hinging from the hips, you're leaning forward, you're not up here. Lean forward. 10 seconds, guys. Keep it up, we're almost done. There we go. Remember, you can always repeat this, skipping the warm up. If you want a little bit more. All right. Reverse tabletop. This is gonna be so fun. All right, so come on down to the ground, see the position, fingertips facing towards the feet, hands and back. We're gonna press up, hips up, and then come on down. So again, hips up to the ceiling, neck neutral, tuck it in, and bring it back. So we don't wanna lean back with our neck. Press it up. You should feel quite a bit of stretch in those biceps. Quite a bit of opening in the chest. If you want to make it a little bit more challenging, you can hover your butt here. Instead of resting it to the floor. 
Nice control, nice mobility. This is mobility work too. Super, super important. You know, a lot of people concentrate on strength and endurance, but it's so important to get that mobility and flexibility so your joints, everything are healthy and happy and working correctly. All right, next up, dumbbell push-up, side plank. Now I'm gonna grab my weights, most advanced version. You're gonna do a push-up on the dumbbells, come up, side plank. Now if it's too much to do that, you can always do a push-up on your knees, and then you can come up to a plank, then you can bring it up, or you can do all of this without the dumbbells. Keep it up, guys. Yay. We're so close. Ugh. Up and back. 10 seconds. Ooh. Three, two, ugh. All right, guys, lucky us, we get to finish off on the ground. So we're gonna do chest presses. If you have a bench, I highly recommend using that for better range of motion. So what we wanna do is, you're gonna press up, bring it down to the ground, and press up. Now, when you do this, elbows are not at 90 degrees. You want about a little bit under, maybe like, actually like 45. Elbows back, think of a push-up. Your elbows should not be at 90 degrees. Squeeze, and this is one where you can use your arms, but we don't want to. You wanna think about pressing through the chest. Ladies, you're using your boobs. Squeeze, press it up. So really think about explosive movement. Woo. Squeeze. All the way, again, if you have a bench, I highly recommend using it. But if you don't, you will still get benefits from this motion. All right, next up is going to be chest fly. So we're gonna keep banking out that chest, Take my hair down because this is just in the way. Uh, I just worked out a bunch. Okay, so palms facing towards each other. Bend the elbows slightly, bring it over the chest. Bring it back. Squeeze the chest muscles together. Again, really easy to just use your arms. I want you to think about squeezing your chest. My muscle connection, baby. When I really learned how to do like chest flies and chest presses, I had to lower my weight a lot. You can have your feet on the ground if you want to. Ooh. Keep it up, guys. Squeeze together. Got one more move after this. We're really going to be banking on those uh, um, tri uh, triceps. I actually made that sound because I couldn't think of the word, not because the move. <laughs> All right, guys, last movement of the day. Remember, you can repeat this workout if you want to. Grab that weight and have dumbbells up. And then bring them slightly back. Now, skull crush and press up. So make sure, again, you're not here. You're not arms straight. Bring them slightly back and then do that skull crusher. It's going to help you get better range of motion, uh, better stretch for those triceps. Keep it up, guys. This one you really don't need a ton of weight for. Cooling down after this. Stay with me. And press. Finish it out. All right, we are done. Woo! All right, guys, so you have a few options. Again, you can repeat this workout. You can stick with me to do the cool down, or you can do another workout from my channel. You can't go to anyone else's channel. That is not allowed. No, I'm just kidding. Do whatever you want. All right, guys, so make sure, again, work on the flexibility and mobility. If you are leaving, please do like this video before you go. Share it with your friends, family, on Facebook, Twitter, etc. It helps me out so much. I want to reach as many people as possible. I'm talking to you get more girls' speed because I want to get as much as possible in this moment. Okay, that's really it. Let's go to the warm-up or cool down. Yay! All right, guys, most of you are probably on the ground, so we're going to stay there. We're going to go back to that wrist mobility, flexibility. So go ahead. Hey, 
twirl it around a little bit. I know a lot of people have like wrist issues and stuff and let's try to not <laughs> bring every other way around. Tabletop position, bring it forward, a little stretch, bring it back. Whee! Keeping the arms straight. And uh, fingertips facing towards the knees. Lean back, you can add a little side to side. A little something, something special. Whee! Nice job. Alright, go ahead. Cheeky, cheeky. Now we're gonna bring our tummies down to the ground. This stretch might be quite intense for you. So you're gonna bring your arm out to the side and then up a little bit. Okay? From here, left hand is gonna be right by the chest, bend your left knee, bring it over, relax the neck. You should feel the stretch in the front of that shoulder and the chest on that right side if you uh, did the same side as me. Breathe. Don't push too far. Just breathe here. Amazing chest opener. I highly recommend doing this every day when your body's nice and warm and ready. Go ahead, bring it back. Now we're gonna bring it straight out. Do the same thing. This is gonna get a little bit different area. I feel it's a little bit more in my back too. Ooh, breathe. And let's bring it back to center. Switch, same thing on the other side. Bye. I can't see you anymore. You could be doing anything. You could be juggling and I wouldn't know. Uh, don't you leave on me. I can smell you. <laughs> Breathe. One side might be tired than the other. Bring it back to center. Oh, others. Or same thing. Others. Or same side. Wee. What was that? Did you guys hear that bird? Like, wow. Go ahead, bring it back to center. All right, press onto the knees, sit back, child's pose. We're gonna get a nice release for our lower back. You never know when you need it. Forehead down to the ground. And go ahead, come up a little bit. Now we're gonna take that right hand, bring it to the right once. Left hand on top, look under your left shoulder, or your left arm. And try to bring your right arm down to the ground as low as you can. You should feel us all on the left side. Bring it up. Left hand over to the left, right hand on top. Look under that right arm. Try to bring your left arm down to the ground as low as you can. And slowly bring it back to center. Stay here in hero's pose. If this is too much for you, you can always stand up and do a side stretch instead. But we're gonna take that right hand, bring it to the right. Left hand goes over, really reach. So you feel this all on the side of that body. Ooh, reach, reach, reach. And other side, reach. Getting all that lat action, QL action. Go ahead and bring it back to center, roll the shoulders. Me. All right, oh, that was a bug. That was a green bug. All right, cut the hands and back, bring it to your left side and pull your elbow back towards the wall or whatever is in back of you. I feel this all in the front of my shoulder on the left side, as well as the chest. And release the other side. This is a, it can be a pretty intense stretch when you're opening up your chest. Anytime you open up your chest and your hips, you can get like pretty emotional, uh, angry, sad, whatever. I know I do. It's not just because it's uncomfortable, but it releases like emotions and underlying stuff. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> the yoga people say that. <laughs> you know, the yoga people. All right, shake it out. Grab the toes underneath, push back. Hips up, slowly roll it up. That is definitely a child outside. <laughs> Roll the shoulders. We're gonna get the neck and the traps because again, it's so easy to tense them up throughout the day. All right, so clasp the hands and back and pull down. You're gonna drop your neck over to the right and move it around a little bit on that right side. Find where it's super tight. Stay there and just breathe. 
Neck stretches are one of those that I highly recommend to do every day as well. Ooh. And slowly bring it back, other side. Um, tight neck muscles can cause headaches. So if you have headaches, uh, for unknown reasons, like your diet's on point, your sleeping's on point, stress levels are fine, it might be something tight in your neck. So I bring it back to side. The more you know. <laughs> Alright guys, last one. Clasp the hands in front. Pull the shoulders in. Ready again, heel up. And exhale, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. We are done today. Yes. We did it. You guys did it. We completed our awesome upper body workout for the day. So. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, please do like the video, give you a second, give you a few seconds. Wow, what did I just say? Um, do like the video. Thank you. And also leave a comment below. Let me know which move was most challenging for you today. Honestly, I think it was like the beginning with the forearms. That was like, woof, woof. And don't forget to share it with your friends and family on Facebook, Twitter, etc. It really helps me out. Again, I want to reach as many people as possible. Let's hit 20K. Oh my God. It's very exciting. And also, if you found that this workout was super beneficial to you and you were like, wow, this was crazy awesome, I do have a link below if you want to support my channel. It would be amazing. I appreciate it so much. I always put it back in my channel. And I also, in the description, have the list of all the movements that we did today so you can always take them to the gym with you if you need a little refresher. All right, guys. I will see you soon. Have an amazing day.